smiles and frozen nice job boys and girls well today is Friday so you know what we do on Fridays because Fridays are underwater Fridays right you remember that of course so if you are watching this on a Friday then you have already seen me or you've already come to art class this week so this is an extra day of art for you and I love Fridays because I get to teach you how to draw something from the ocean, from underwater, from the sea, right? So today, we should have done this one a long time ago because we, of course, are the Ocean Breeze Dolphins. That's right. So today, we're going to learn how to draw a dolphin. So it's important you get this one right since you are a dolphin, since we are dolphins. All right, here we go. Boys and girls, you're going to get a half sheet of paper like this. And you're going to, the, the hardest part is the first step. The very first step is the hardest part. You're going to want to draw very, very, very lightly because you're going to do a lot of erasing. First of all, you probably won't get the shape right on the first try. Plus, we're going to do a lot of erasing just to add more parts of the dolphin to it. So, draw very lightly. Here we go. Your fir the first shape is going to be kind of a curve. Can you see this? You might not be able to see that. Okay, I'm going to have to draw dark, but you're going to draw light. All right, so you're going to have... Oh, boy. <laughs> you're going to curve like this, leaving lots of room un underneath, lots of room over here, lots of room up top. So it's a nice little curve like this. Comes down a little further. Okay, then you're going to round off that curve leaving it fatter, fatter on the front, and it slowly tapers, gets thinner to about, about that close. Got a pencil width together, those two lines close together. All right, so fatter up here. It's like a teardrop that kind of pulls down to the side a little bit. All right, once you have that, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do the tail. So we're going to come down like this to a point and then up a little bit and then we're going to make this side the same only a little longer, a little bigger because it's a little closer to us like that. Something like that. All right, next we're going to draw the nose, right, one of our bottle nose dolphin like this, comes out like that. And our dolphins have a little underbite, so we're going to start our curve right here. Kind of like that. All right, maybe a little eye right here, just a little slit for the eye. Okay, here's where the erasing comes into play that I warned you about. We're going to have to erase a little bit on the top here. So hopefully you didn't draw too dark. And a little bit right under here, because we're going to have to have our dorsal fin. And our little pectoral fin, our little side fin there. All right, let's do the dorsal fin. So on a shark, the dorsal fin is more like a triangle, right? But this is not a shark. This is a dolphin. So it's going to look a lot like a, like a surfboard fin. It's going to break back this way and then come back around like this. Nice little curve to it, like a wave. How's that? Uh, I'm not sure I like that so much. Maybe too much of a curl. How's that? There we go. And then our pectoral fin. Come like this. Round off the top. And if you want to, you can put one behind it. You don't have to do this. Like that. All right. Okay, so the big forehead kind of makes it a little bit cartoony looking. So if you don't want too big of a forehead, you can kind of trim that down a little bit like that. Be a little less cartoony looking. Or maybe you like, you're going for that look. All right, guys, actually, that's pretty much it. Here's what you can do. Let's say it's jumping out of the water. You can. These aren't circles. These are like squashed little half circles 
like this. Maybe the first one's just a squash circle looking over. And another squash little half circle. And look, it looks like he's jumping out of the water. Alright, now you can draw your little ocean scene. Maybe um, some more underwater creatures underneath them or some birds in the sky and maybe a sun. Something like that. Alright guys. Go ahead and finish your dolphin, personalize it. Maybe you need to, maybe you're looking at it going, well, that dorsal fin's a little bit too tall. You want to erase that. That's why we draw lightly so we can erase. You can trim that down. You can make your little adjustments. Color it, outline everything in black, and I can't wait to see your dolphin creation. I can't wait. If you have trouble and you mess up, don't worry about it because this is probably your first time ever trying to draw a dolphin. So don't expect to get it perfect the first time. You can always turn it over and try again on the back. All right, boys and girls, I can't wait to see your dolphins. Bye. Bye.